What's up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics. In today's video, I'm back with another My Top 3 City at Tweaks video. Now I know that I didn't post one of these videos last week, but that's because I was deathly ill. So as an apology from me to you, I'm going to be posting two of these videos this week, starting with this one on Monday, and then I will do another one on Wednesday during its normal scheduled time slot that I normally do this segment. So with that said, let's jump into this right now. I do have three tweaks that I'm excited to share with you guys, so let's jump into it right now. Now the first tweak that we are going to talk about today is called Byte SMS. Now Byte SMS is available for free inside of the Big Boss repo in Cydia, and it is a messages replacement application. So it replaces the stock messaging app on your iPhone or iPod or whatever. So if we go into Byte, Byte SMS, it looks a little bit different as you can see here. It looks almost the same, but you do have contact photos next to the contacts that you are talking to in the chat, which is awesome. Uh, so you can see the person without just reading their name. It also kind of livens up the atmosphere a little bit. Another thing that you can do is if you click on it, you can change the format of your actual chat itself. So as you can see, I have a little Broncos emblem in the background to kind of keep the Bronco theme alive of my iPhone. As you guys know, uh, the home screen of my phone is the De a Denver Bronco emblem, as well as the slider on my phone. Uh, so I figured I would keep that alive and then made the bubbles blue and orange to match that Bronco coloring, you know. So that pretty much does it. There is one thing that you should know about Byte SMS. It is free to download out of Cydia, uh, but after the first seven days, it kind of messes it up a little bit by running ads across it. Uh, you could get rid of them by buying licenses, uh, and the full license so that you never have to worry about dealing with anything of that sort again is $7.99. So you can opt out of doing that, but the best thing to do is buy the licensing if you decide to buy, buy it, or use Byte SMS. And I definitely think it's good. It works so much better than the stock messaging app, and I like it a whole lot more. Now, the next tweak that I would like to talk about today is called Diet Bulletin. Now, what this does is it changes your notifications in your status bar so that it won't pop up into whatever application you're running. You When you receive a notification, it usually drops down uh, below where you are. Uh, so this is also for free in the Big Boss repo inside of Cydia. I'm going to take a quick look at it. We're going to go into Settings uh, and go down to Diet Bulletin, and you can see style. Uh, the style I currently have set for it is thin, and I'll show you what that means here in just a second. So I'm gonna be sending myself an email here so that you guys can see exactly what this does. Now, I'm sending it, and it's gonna come across in thin format. As you can see, it pops up just in the status bar, and if it was a little bit longer, it would be scrolling from right to left across the screen. So as you see, it only takes up the status bar, so it doesn't come into the notification, it just was in the status bar. So if we go, we can click status bar, we'll do the same thing here, I'll send myself another message, and there you go, see it just comes up in the status bar, it's blacked out, uh, so it looks just as the status bar does, it just flips down. Uh, so that's kind of cool too, and then you guys know what the default one looks like, but I'll use it, I'll, I'll send another one, uh, just so that you can tell exactly what I'm talking about here, and see that's what the normal notification looks like. I personally like the thin one the best, I think that it works the best, and I think it looks the best out of all of them, uh, so that's the one that I currently have it set to, but I do like it, I think it cleans up the entire notification atmosphere a little bit, I really do like that. And that again is called Diet Bulletin and is available for free inside of the Big Boss repo in Cydia. Now the third and final tweak that we would like to d talk about today is actually a pretty cool one. And this thing's called Folder Closer. It is also available for free on the Big Boss repo. And what this does is it closes out when you go into a folder. We'll go into my jailbreak folder. As you can see here, I have all my jailbreaks for the most part. And don't pay too much attention to those because some of those are for my next video on Wednesday for the other top three city of tweaks video. So try, to, try not to pay too close of attention to these. We'll go into barrel. You guys have already seen barrel. So we'll go into that and take a look. And now what we're in barrel. Now normally when you hit the home button to get out of barrel, it brings you back to the folder. So then you have to hit home again to get back to the home screen. But with this, if you click it, boom, it takes you straight home. You don't have to deal with the folder. It closes the folder automatically. You know, we'll open Winterboard. You guys have seen that one before. Now we're in Winterboard. Normally we would close it and it would close back to the folder. If we do it now, boom, it knocks it all the way out. I think that's really handy. It's much more efficient. You don't have to bounce around through things and it doesn't, it's not that hard that if you did want to be back in there, you just click the folder again to open it. So it really is a lot more efficient in my opinion. And that again is called Folder Closer. It is available for free in the Big Boss repo in Cydia. So that about concludes this episode of my top three Cydia tweaks for this week or the first one of two this week. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those in the comment section below. If you have any other tips or tweaks or anything that you would like me to show on the in one of these videos, definitely leave them in the comments below. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the Triz Tech and Electronics channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.